you guys welcome back okay so today I wanted to just kind of do a quick little video showing you guys some of the colorful eyeshadow palettes that I have in my collection now this video started out as kind of like my favorite colorful eyeshadow palettes or my favorite rainbow eyeshadow palettes and I realized I buy so many colorful and rainbow eyeshadow palettes that that really would have been a very short video because I truly only have like two absolute favorite colorful eyeshadow palettes. The rest of them are either just really, really good and I really, really like them or I'll probably never use them again. <laughs> so yeah, it's kind of like, I mean, there's also some that are kind of like, eh, it's just okay, but those are typically ones that I'll probably never use again. So anyways... The ones that I'm going to show you guys today are just the ones that I pulled out of my collection that I just kind of wanted to briefly talk about. I wanted to pull some palettes that I could show you guys that would be in the more affordable or drugstore category. Some other ones that might be kind of like in the mid-range or indie brand options and also a few that are maybe like higher end or prestige, which I really only have like one or two of those because... I don't have a lot of colorful or rainbow palettes that are like, you know, brands like Pat McGrath and Natasha Denona and stuff like that. They really don't do like rainbow palettes. So anyway, all of that, just to say, I pulled some of my colorful palettes to show them to you guys and just kind of give you some of my thoughts very briefly because honey, I got a lot of palettes here. Yes, I'm sitting on the floor because sometimes I just want to sit on the floor. <laughs> That's just, that's the only reason. Sometimes I want to sit on the floor, especially when I've been on my knees digging through palettes and pulling stuff. It's like, you know what? I'm just going to stay down here. So let's just get started. My eye look today, I actually used a brand new palette that I got recently. This is the Elf and J Kissa collab palette. I haven't decorate, decorated mine with the cute little stickers yet. You know, they send you the cute little sticker sheet to go along with your palette have not used that yet but this is what this palette looks like just in case if you haven't seen it yet it is the elf and j kissa collab and so if you want to know my thoughts on this palette and see me create this look then look out for that video because it's coming soon either right after this one or it might already be up don't know so let's go ahead and jump right in to these colorful palettes. Now I'm going to start out, I think, with the more affordable ones. And the first one I wanted to show you guys is this cute little NYX Edit palette. This is one of their ultimate edits. And this one is the Brights Edit. So it's like their larger palettes. They kind of like cut them down, shrink them down, and put them in a little edited version. And this one I think is so, so cute. When I saw this on sale, I bought mine from Target. It was only a couple of bucks. I was like, that is really cute for a nice kind of pastel, bright eye look. Something quick and simple to use. I did, I've used this more so as a companion palette, to be honest with you. These lighter shades are perfect for like blending out darker shades. Or if you do want to do just a simple, light, colorful eye look that's not too deep or dark very very nice so i would say that you know because nyx can be kind of hit or miss with their shadow sometimes that these palettes the little edit palettes are not bad okay next i had to show you guys my profusion spectrum palette this little five dollar palette is shocking you guys i mean absolutely shocking as far as the quality goes you know it's like profusion five dollars okay you just expect it to be okay. Maybe you have to build it up a lot, hard to blend, but no. This palette is actually very, very nice. Beautiful, bold, bright colors. Not hard to use, not hard to blend. I was shocked at this little $5 Profusion colorful palette. If you come across it and you like colorful palettes, I would say it's worth a grab. It is definitely worth a grab for the price. Okay, next here I have my Revolution and Tammy tropical carnival palette one of my favorite things about this palette is the packaging it's so so pretty but i also love the colors that she put in here it definitely says tropical now this is not like 
what I would say would be like one of my first choices to go to for a colorful palette, just because of the fact that it is Revolution. Although the shadows have decent pigment and, you know, they're blendable and the shimmers are pretty, it's not like an amazing formula or amazing quality, but I would say this is definitely worth a buy. If you're looking for a colorful eyeshadow palette, maybe you are um, someone who's kind of getting familiar or getting comfortable with color and you want something that's kind of easy to work with, I would definitely say this will be a good palette to kind of start with. Um, oh gosh, I really don't want to start swatching because I'm going to be here like all day. <laughs> but this is, you know, like the quality of the shimmers that you're going to find in this palette. Very, very pretty, very nice. Definitely worth a buy for an affordable, colorful palette. Next, I have here my BH Cosmetics Midnight Festival palette. And the packaging, you know, it's one of those when you shift it, you can see like fireworks on there if you can see that. And I was really, really excited about this palette. I really hate, I kind of hate that I gave away my Carnival palette that came out, what, in 2018. I loved that palette, but I gave it away. I was, <laughs> I was tired of it. But this is a really, really pretty palette. Let me just show it to you a bit closer. The bright pink background kind of like, you know, distracts from the colors that are in there, even though they are very, very pretty. I had a lot of fun using this palette. Now, this palette does have over here, you can see these really gorgeous glitters. So if you don't like, you know, glitter shadows and stuff, you might not like this palette, but I think it's really, really pretty. It's a nice change of pace. Not too expensive because it's from BH Cosmetics and I really like it. I like this palette. I'm glad I got it. Now this palette here from BH Cosmetics, the Trendy in Tokyo, this one is one where if somebody was like, okay, what affordable rainbow eyeshadow palette would you suggest I pick up? I don't have a lot of coin, but I want something that's going to give me pigment. It's going to be easy to use and create gorgeous looks. I would suggest this. I really would. I think BH Cosmetics kind of <laughs> really outdid themselves with this palette. It performs very nicely. It's very, very pretty. I like just the colors that they did put in here. I do wish that there was a matte blue. This blue here is, um, you know, like a shimmer. But, so I do wish there was a matte blue in here. But these other colors, uh, so, so pretty. So, yeah, I would definitely suggest this palette to anyone that asked me, oh, I need a colorful palette. What's one that's affordable that I can grab? It would be this one. Okay, this palette here is the Bretman Rock and Wet n Wild collab. I love this packaging. <laughs> First of all, let me just say that. Love, love, love the packaging on this palette. But the colors, honey, the colors are so, so pretty. This is what this palette looks like. And this green right here, yo. Oh my gosh, let me just do a quick little swatchy swatch. Okay. I don't know if you can see that. I don't have my lights on super bright. I'm just kind of chill right now. But honey, that green is like, to me, it's like the star of this palette. Ah, oh, so pretty. But all the other colors are gorgeous as well. A lot of these palettes, if not all of these palettes, I actually have done a video on or used in a video. <laughs> so if you just search the palette name, and you know my channel name then um you can see if i did a video on any of these it's way too many for me to try and link them all i don't even think i would be able to link them all okay next let's talk about some juvia's place palettes you guys y'all know we had to talk about juvia's place she has a really nice formula some people like it some people don't i think the majority do like her formula her mattes are a little bit drier but they're easy to use easy to blend and nicely pigmented so this first one here is the zulu okay and this is what the zulu looks like okay very bright very colorful unique color story i really really like this palette this purple this kind of like pinky melon shade this teal this orange this whole palette is just gorgeous 
even threw in this brown to play with and a shimmery pink so yeah very very pretty this kind of lime mint green in the center very very nice okay next from juvie's place i wanted to talk about the warrior this is the warrior three <laughs> the warrior three and i really love the artwork for this palette i mean i love the artwork for all of the palettes but this one is just like oh so gorgeous but these are the colors another beautiful purple beautiful pink honey <laughs> these shimmers down here oh I know I'm not supposed to be swatching, but your girl's got to swatch, okay? The shimmers, so, so pretty. I mean, this gray is like unique. It's unique. But look at that blue, okay? So pretty. Um, Yeah, Juvia's, you'd be hard-pressed to say that Juvia's has come out with a bad palette. <laughs> I mean, I think uh, some people don't like the, is it the Afrik? The kind of like rainbow type palette that she came out with. I don't know, but look at that. <laughs> but yeah, some people don't care for that one. You know, she's come out with so many different palettes that there's something for everyone. Even if there's one or two that you don't care for, like the color story or whatever. Honey, she has a palette for everybody. So you will find something you like. Now, this is the newest Juvia's Place palette. The Wahala. Ugh y'all know <laughs> when i use this palette oh my gosh i think i almost threw every single one of these colors on my eyelids so absolutely gorgeous yes i did do a video using this palette not too long ago fell in love with it so gorgeous oh my gosh this color up here, I don't know what it is about this type of shade. I just love, love, love it. She went ahead, put a couple of pressed glitters in here. You know, trying to switch it up a bit, do something different. I'm one of those where I don't care if there's pressed glitter in a palette. I don't want too many of them because then I feel like you taking away from shadows that I would most likely use, you know, some other mattes or shimmers. But I don't care if there's a few in there. It doesn't bother me. But this palette, oh, so, so pretty. Okay, another affordable brand is Beauty Glazed, okay? They have a lot of dupe palettes. They create a lot of dupe palettes and very, very affordable. I tend to find mine on Amazon. I'm pretty sure they have a website, but I shop on Amazon like it ain't nobody's business. <laughs> so that's where I got this from. This is the Color Fusion Over the Rainbow palette. And you guys, this palette shocked the heck out of me i mean i was shocked at the quality the pigmentation the blendability i did a video using this if you want to see it in action this palette very nice i would absolutely recommend this palette for someone who's looking for a rainbow palette absolutely 100 percent. now that i think about it i might recommend this before the bh cosmetics trending in tokyo because this palette very nice, a lot of colors, a lot of range, and it's affordable. Now, this palette here, I don't know if I would say that it's just oh so affordable. Um, it is Revolution, but it is the Patricia Bright, one of the Patricia Bright collab palettes. She came out with two and a couple of face palettes, y'all know. But this one is the Rich in Color. Wait till y'all see this palette. If you haven't seen it... Or even if you have seen it and you just don't remember what it looks like, ugh, wait till you see it, okay? Bam! <laughs> Do you see the colors in this palette? Oh my goodness. It is so funny because Patricia doesn't even be wearing color like this, okay? She really doesn't. She is just that classic, you know, simple beauty. But yo the colors in this palette was just calling my name i really really like this palette the only thing i don't like about this palette is this shadow right here and that's just because i don't like that type of shadow that's kind of like one of those um you know super shop putty type shadows i don't like those at all i just don't <laughs> because they work best with your finger and you guys know I don't like using my fingers so although this shadow like I'll show you right now oh, it feels so weird the shadow see when you put it on your eye 
you know, and you use your finger. Let's see if I can get it to show. It's gorgeous. It is really, really pretty. But I don't know. It's just kind of, it's difficult to pick up, difficult to use with a brush. So I don't like it. <laughs> but other than that, honey, this palette is beautiful. It is beautiful. I love it. And I think it's like 25 bucks. So it's like, it's not the most expensive palette, but it's not the most affordable either. Next in the affordable lineup, Profusion. This is my Profusion Festival palette. I have a whole plethora of these beautiful, gorgeous, colorful Profusion palettes. They come out with so many of these. Is it, what is this, 35? Yeah, I think it's 35 pan eyeshadow palettes. So there's so many different color stories and ranges to choose from. Profusion, for the most part, is nice quality, decent, affordable shadows. Some of them, eh, <laughs> some of them are a miss. Like the little neon palettes, uh-uh, uh-uh, uh-uh. <laughs> Not the, the, the new ones they came out with, uh-uh. But the palettes like this, you can work it out. They take a little bit of building up, and but the shimmers are really pretty, but the mattes take a little bit of building up, but they are blendable, great, great deal, very affordable. So yeah, Profusion, just some of their palettes are hit and miss, but this cute little festival palette, not bad. Okay, I wasn't really sure if I was going to pull this palette because I've only used it like twice. So I don't really remember how I feel about it. I think it's okay. This is the Revolution Alexis Stone Instinct palette. Um, I love the color story in this palette because I like palettes, you know, having palettes like this in my collection where there's a range of each color. You know, you got your reds, your pinks, your purples, your blues, your yellows. So you can kind of combine different colors to create the colors that aren't in the palette, like the blue and the yellow to make green, you know, the red and the yellow to make orange. So these palettes are great for people who really like to play around with their makeup, play in shadow, create different looks and stuff. Very, very nice for that. Just from my memory, I think it's a okay or a decent palette. I don't remember it being remarkable though, because I haven't reached for it, so... Yeah, but this is uh, the Alexis Stone and Revolution palette. Now, this palette here, honey, I know about this palette, okay? This is my Makeup Shack Rainforest palette. Ugh, I need to pull this palette some more. I really, really do. I forget about this palette, and I think it's because the packaging is very, very blah. I'm like, who chose this packaging? Because it is just ugh, it this does not say pick me up at all okay when you open her up <laughs> she says hello i'm colorful come play with me these shadows i love how they perform they are so nicely pigmented they blend out easily and i just i love this palette i love the colors in this palette you have these beautiful greens yellows oranges your reds your pinks your purples your blues you got a white, you got a black. I mean, it's such a beautifully well-rounded palette for a color lover. Oh, it just is. And if I remember correctly, this palette is affordable. Very affordable, if I'm remembering correctly. It's the Makeup Shack Rainforest palette. So check it out. You know, let me know in the comments if you have this or if you've seen it. But to my knowledge, I think it is very affordable. Okay, you guys, so let's move on to some indie brand palettes that I want to talk about. Yo, my girl DJ came out with her own eyeshadow palette. It's called Our Favorite Things. Okay, now, y'all, hopefully y'all see my video that I just did. Trying out this palette, using it, playing in it. Two eye looks for you guys. This palette is bomb, okay? It really is. Let me show you to you. I'm just sitting here talking. <laughs> Let me show you this palette, okay? Yes, my girl, my friend, my boo, DJ, came out with her own eyeshadow palette. And honey, it's bomb. If you haven't already picked one up, you need to go ahead and grab you one, okay? Because this is definitely one of my favorite things, okay? <laughs> so these are the colors, the beautiful shimmers, bold, colorful mattes. I mean, honey... Check out the eye looks that I did with this palette because you will fall in love with it too and you'll be like, let me hurry up and go on and get to DJ's Unique Boutique to pick that up. Oh, 
these earrings are from her boutique as well <laughs> i don't know if they're sold out but yeah these earrings are from her boutique also so check it out but yes black owned indie brand our favorite things from dj's unique boutique okay let me talk about a few pinky rose palettes okay if you haven't heard about pinky rose they are an indie brand and they come out with some of the most beautiful, colorful, gorgeous eyeshadow palettes, okay? This one here is the Exotic Peacock. Look at that packaging. So gorgeous. Let me show you this palette. <laughs> Look at the colors in this palette, you guys. Oh, if you like blue and purple, honey, you will die. You will just die. When you use this palette every time i use this palette i'm just blown away at the blues and purples in here it's so gorgeous Ugh, listen i know i'm not supposed to be swatching but i can't help myself look at these look just look okay gorgeous oh my gosh yes i love this palette it's so so pretty Another one from Pinky Rose. This is actually one of the first palettes that I brought that I bought from them. I was looking all over the place for this because it was sold out forever. <laughs> so I was looking all over the place for this and I finally found it and had to cop it. But look at this palette. Oh, it's so gorgeous. Oh my goodness. If you love bright kind of like neon type colors there's some beautiful beautiful glitters in here as well if you do like glitter they're unique glitters like this cupcake it's unique okay it's not just your typical glitter it's very, very pretty i did a whole eye look just based around this one bright green shadow and i absolutely loved it so beautiful beautiful palette this is one of the palettes that i would say would be like a nice kind of match up with the ultimate edit brights palette from nyx you can kind of like play around blend out mix these colors and stuff and create a very very pretty colorful eye look next from pinky rose i have the 80s baby and honestly this is one of my favorite color stories like of all time <laughs> aside from my melt uh, muerte palette the melt muerte is like the most beautiful color combination <laughs> but this 80s baby palette oh so so pretty very very gorgeous unique shades you have your purples a little blue a little yellow kind of like the corally um melon type shades you also have some beautiful shimmers so yeah i really really like this and i like the theme the 80s baby uh i was born in the 70s but <laughs> whatever right okay now ace beauté ace beauté comes out with some really nice amazing beautiful palettes the oceanic is one of my absolute favorite palettes i think if i was going to create a blue look and i could just pick whatever palette i wanted i would pick the oceanic if you haven't seen it i'm sorry but <laughs> it's not a colorful palette so i didn't pull it but the ace beauté oceanic gorgeous now this slice of paradise is their colorful palette and it's not your typical rainbow you know you have your red your orange your yellow green blue purple and all that stuff i think the pink background kind of throws it off a bit but it just has a little bit more of a brighter feel to it even though it's very colorful and you know you could say it's a rainbow palette I don't know it just has a bit of a brighter feel to it and i really really like it anyways this color is very pretty i like this palette a lot now the mattes for these palettes these longer palettes are a bit of a drier formula so they're not my absolute favorite as far as using these um i can work it out you know i can work with them just fine but they are a bit of a drier formula to use so just fyi on that now this ace beauty palette is one of my favorites and it's a different type of colorful palette this is the flare palette and so it's not your typical rainbow uh type colorful palette but honey the colors in this palette do you see that it's like i don't even know how to describe the color scheme and the color story for this palette other than it's just absolutely gorgeous to me. I mean, 
these blues, this super bright, I don't know, it's like a yellow green mixed in with these oranges and these purples. It's just such a beautiful combination. Like whoever came up with this combination of colors did the dang thing. I really, really like it. It's super pretty. It's unique. And I just, I love this palette. I really do. I love playing with this palette. This uh, blue shimmer here. Oh, it's so pretty. It's so, so pretty. I really need to turn some more lights on because it's not you know, this natural lighting is just not doing it justice, <laughs> but that blue shimmer there, it looks so, so pretty when you combine it with these kind of like rustic shades. It's just, it's just such a different combination, you know, on your lid. You put the rustic colors in your crease and you pop that on your lid. It's just so, so pretty. So anyways, I wanted to throw this in because it's a different type of colorful palette. Okay, I turned on a little bit of light, so <laughs> hopefully that'll help some. Now, this is one of my newer purchases, the Sample Beauty Prodigy palette. I purchased this not too long ago, used it, played in it. Ugh. This is the Jewel Toned Edition Prodigy palette. So I'm assuming they're going to come out with more editions, but this one uh this color story spoke to my very soul honey it spoke to my very soul i love when brands mix like the deep rich bold colors with some pretty bright pops in there it's just uh and then they throw in some gorgeous shimmers i just i love 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 this color story and when i used it it was so freaking pigmented so pigmented check out my video using this if you're curious about it this palette is seriously pigmented in the shimmer it's like it's crazy i really need to stop so <laughs> so watch it like this video is gonna be long enough as it is but yeah it's like do you see that do you see the shim shimmy of the shimmery shims okay gorgeous Oh, I forgot I have a couple more Pinky Rose palettes to talk about you guys. These they released not too long ago. These might be their latest releases. Um, the Luscious Plum and the Sunflower. Oh, both of these palettes I fell in love with when I saw them and when I used them. This one though, oh, this Luscious Plum, honey. This palette is gorgeous. It performs beautifully. And it's not like a colorful palette, like, oh, this crazy range of colors, but it's definitely a colorful palette, <laughs> in my opinion, because the colors that are in here are bold and bright and beautiful. So, yeah, this Luscious Plum, oh, beautiful, beautiful palette. And then this Sunflower palette, it's like this one has that rustic grunginess to it. The green, the purple, just absolutely gorgeous. If you like these types of colors, then, you know, you'll like this palette. Very, very nice, nice palette. Next here, I have the Beauty Crop Pina Colada. <laughs> now, I have, I, look, I have mixed feelings about this palette. I really do. Love the color story. Absolutely beautiful. I mean, it just totally speaks to me. Once again, this beautiful kind of like corally type red shade in here, this purple, this blue, it's absolutely gorgeous. Now, the reason why I kind of like have a love-hate relationship with these palettes from Beauty Crop is because they're this, the shimmer, like this purple here and this kind of orangey red up here, their quote unquote shimmer um shadows are very crumbly very crumbly and i find them a little bit difficult to use um you know when i'm doing my eye looks they just they don't give me what i need i mean they're absolutely beautiful but it's just they can be crumbly they can be crumbly so unless you you know, put it on your lid exactly how you want it, where you want it. You can end up with a mess <laughs> if you're not careful. So the colors are absolutely gorgeous for this palette. Um, the shimmers are just, they leave a lot for me to be desired. A lot to be <laughs> desired. So, 
yeah, the mattes, bomb. The shimmers, not so much. Okay, you guys, next I have here an all matte eyeshadow palette from Rude Cosmetics. This is part of their lingerie collection, and this one is called Naughty Nights. <laughs> so, yeah, this is what the packaging looks like, okay? So, you know, if you're a little naughty, you might like this palette. But I like this palette because I love matte eyeshadows. I love matte shadows more than I love shimmers, and I love shimmers. So this is what this palette looks like, okay? The colors in here are so, so pretty. You can create just the most beautiful color eye, colorful eye looks with this palette. It's nicely pigmented. The shadows blend out fairly easily. I had no complaints when I used this palette. It, it worked out fairly well. I wouldn't say, you know, that it's my favorite formula, but it's a decent formula. Okay, so let me go ahead and bust out these palettes from the brand that makes one of my absolute favorite eyeshadow palettes, okay? And that is Playing in Makeup by Yolando and the whole Jamrock series of eyeshadow palettes. I love them, okay? So let's just run through a few. I'll show you my absolute favorite one last. <laughs> But these are some of her palettes. And like I said, it's called Playing in Makeup by Yolando. This one is the Jam Rock Rebirth eyeshadow palette. That's what the packaging looks like. And let me show you this palette. <laughs> Just when I open it. This used to be my favorite. But it's another one that bumped this one, okay? This used to be my favorite. But her color schemes are just so gorgeous. So unique. I mean, her shadows are so pigmented, so beautiful. Her shimmers are so gorgeous. I mean, I, I have to swatch some of these, you guys. I just, I have to. I cannot not <laughs> swatch some of these shimmers from this palette, okay? Okay, do you see those? Do you see them? <laughs> Do you see those shimmers? I mean, just absolutely gorgeous. So yeah, she definitely has like one of my favorite formulas as far as mattes and shimmers. I love her palettes. This is another one of her palettes, which is the original Jam Rock palette. And this one I believe is all matte. Yeah, this one is all matte, okay? But you talk about a colorful eyeshadow palette, honey. If you like playing in color, check out these palettes. So, yeah. You see all those colors in there? The range. And this is 100% matte. No shimmers in here. So, if you love mattes like I do, this will be right up your alley. Okay, you guys. So, this is my absolute favorite Playing in Makeup by Yolando eyeshadow palette as well as one of my absolute favorite eyeshadow palettes. This one is the Jam Rock No Limitations palette, okay? Uh. <sighs> OMG. <laughs> this, oh my goodness. <laughs> this palette is so freaking pretty. Oh my gosh, it just, my heart is just beating so fast right now. Do you see... This palette. Do you see this palette? Do you see the shimmers, the colors? Oh, it's so beautiful. I could just sit here and just look at this palette all day because <laughs> it's so pretty. Oh my gosh. And then the camera, the camera does not do it justice, you guys. This palette, you definitely have to see in person. Let me go ahead and get a few swatches for y'all okay let me see the gold so let's get some swatches on this wrinkly hand <laughs> you see that gold honey that turquoise that green oh, oh my goodness it's like when you get shimmers like this and usually it's from an indie brand and you got a matte formula in there that is just bomb as well honey it don't get no better than that. But these, yo, <laughs> this is like one of my absolute favorite eyeshadow palettes of all time, period, point blank. Now I have a few more palettes that I want to show you guys or, you know, basically just mention because 
they're really not all that to me but they're very popular colorful palettes this one is the colored rain vivid pigments palette um i don't know i just i wasn't that impressed with these shadows i've used it like two or three times and each time it was just kind of like lackluster to me i don't know and i keep telling myself well try it again try it again because i love colored rains shadows oh my goodness the what is it the power palette the safari palette all of their palettes that i've used besides this one are amazing so i don't know why it is i don't like this maybe i've used so many colorful palettes that i know what i like but yeah this one is just lackluster to me but their other palettes i love them okay so yeah that's the colored rain this one is the slush from september rose another indie brand um i believe it's black owned as well and this palette while it is nice very pretty very very pretty i need to use this more i've only used it like once or twice and it worked out fine but it didn't leave like a lasting impression on me so yeah i want to use this some more and just kind of see like what i can do with it but it's a very very pretty colorful palette very very pretty i also have the mama -ma mitchell palette <laughs> me myself and mama -ma mitchell which is a very colorful oop, there's my mirror but it's a very very colorful palette as you guys know this side is oh lord it's very awkward as well but this side is, you know, your reds, oranges, warmer tones. That side is your blues, greens, purples, cooler tones. So, yeah, this palette is just, it's just okay. It's just okay. <laughs> it, it doesn't make me feel like, oh, I just, I got to grab it and pick it up. I really need to use it more because, yeah, it doesn't really, it's so freaking awkward too. You know, at the time when I was, you know buying it and wanting it and everything it's like oh that's cute got a little mirror in the center and yeah and now it's just annoying <laughs> it's just it's just annoying it just gets in the way it's bulky it falls out it's just uh but i mean it's it's a it's a cute palette cute idea and everything but i never feel like oh i want to grab my mitchell palette and play with it next i have here my lick and lash beauty playful palette this is another palette that I always forget about because the packaging is so boring. I mean, it's just a plain, boring, baby pink. This is what the palette looks like, okay? That goes with this plain pink packaging, okay? This palette is super colorful, super bold, super rich. It's just, it's gorgeous. And the eye looks that I've done with this, I absolutely love, okay? This palette is very, very pretty. You got your blues and greens if you like those. You got your purples and pinks. I will say it's a very specific, you know, palette for a very specific type of person. <laughs> and I personally love it. But I hate the fact that it's in this packaging because when I see it on my shelf, it just never cries out to me. So I need to remember to use this some more. Next, I have my Glam Light Paint Palette. I have a few palettes from Glam Light but this palette here is well i could say it's the most colorful but it might not be because i did buy the cake palette haven't used it yet that's why i didn't pull it to talk about it because i haven't used it so i really wouldn't have nothing to say about it this palette here very nicely pigmented the shimmers are amazing absolutely amazing i love the shimmers in this palette it's just like oh, they're so freaking pretty okay so pigmented so pretty i really really like the shimmers the mattes you know they perform just fine very bold very colorful but these shimmers are really really pretty in here um so yeah i like this palette as well it's a little awkward a little bulky but i think it's cute i love the idea that it is an actual paint palette <laughs> Because, you know, that's what we use. We use palettes. And so this is actually in the shape of a paint palette. So I think that's very, very cute. Now, these next two palettes are basically, I think, like the only colorful palettes that I have that would be considered like 
high-end prestige or whatever aside from like my abh riviera palette which i didn't pull because i really don't have much to say about it um, but um, this palette here which is my busy art dark <laughs> busy art dark matte palette i've been wanting this palette ever since i started my youtube channel <laughs> like years ago and it's so funny my friends they just laugh at me because i look i'll be quick to say i'm too cheap to buy something I will spend a million dollars on stuff, but if I don't want to pay a price for something, I won't pay it. And I've been wanting this palette for so long, but the price tag was just like, I can't do it. So my girl, <laughs> she was like, girl, and sent it to me. And I was just so overjoyed. And honey, this palette is bomb, okay? It just makes me want to buy more Vizzy Art palettes because this palette is so bomb i mean it doesn't look like much because it's not like super bright and everything but honey if you like a deep dark rich colorful eye look or you just like one shadow eye looks these shadows are so pretty you can just use one of the shadows blow it out and create an eye look the formula is just so amazing I mean, I understand the price tag for these shadows now, <laughs> but honey, I wasn't going to do it, okay? But this is a bomb palette, okay? Very, very nice quality. Next, I have my ABH Norvina. This is a volume three, I believe. Yeah, this is a volume three. I wanted to show this because this is the one that spoke to me the most. You know, it might not be considered the most colorful or bright or bold or whatever, but this color story is the one that spoke to me the most out of all of the palettes that she did you know that she came out with this is the one that spoke to me the most and i just love it i really really love it for some reason this palette says scooby-doo to me <laughs> and i don't know if it's i don't know why but it just it reminds me of scooby-doo and just as a kid watching the scooby-doo cartoon maybe they had a lot of these colors in the cartoon i don't know but this color story is just so pretty it speaks to me i love it it just has that warm earthy just kind of grungy but bright feel to it it's just i think this is like a color scheme that's kind of hard to do and the way she laid it out it's just so pretty to me so i really really like this palette it's absolutely gorgeous Scooby Dooby Doo, where are you? <laughs> we got some work to do now. If we can count on you, Scooby Doo, I know we'll catch that feeling. You know we got a mystery to solve, so Scooby Doo, be ready for your act. Don't hold back. And Scooby-Doo, if you come through, you're gonna have yourself a Scooby snack. scooby dooby doo where are you? We need some help from you now. Knock it off, KK. Okay, last but not least, my absolute favorite palette that I have in my collection to this day <laughs> is, is my Be Perfect Carnival XL Pro Palette. This is the Stacy Marie Collab. This is the latest one that she did, the XL Pro, the larger one. Uh, if somebody took this palette from me, I would be, honey, we're going to have to fight. We're going to have to fight, okay? I love, 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 love this palette, okay? <sighs> Do you see this palette? Do you see all the colors in this palette? <laughs> okay, <laughs> it's so pretty. <laughs> I love this palette, okay? I can create any look under the sun with this palette. And not to mention there's three highlighters in here that I forget about, so I don't use them. But yes, you can create any look under the sun with this palette. And I love the formula. It's just amazing. I love it. It's bomb. Absolute favorite. If somebody told me, hey, you only, you can only grab one palette, okay? Out of all your palettes, what you gonna grab? I'm grabbing this. <laughs> I just, I am, that's it. I'm grabbing this, so this is my favorite, absolute favorite colorful palette in my collection. You know, thank you so that... much for still being here. If you are still here, you the real MVP, okay? Thank you. 
Also, if you're still here, guess what? You get to enter into a giveaway. <laughs> so yeah, if you stuck it out and you are still here with your girl, you get to enter into a giveaway. Okay, now you know my corny behind. I'm like, okay, what's the entry gonna be? But since I got stuck on Scooby-Doo, all you have to do, of course, be subscribed to my channel, like this video, but leave down in the comments what your favorite cartoon character was growing up as a kid. Leave it in the comments. Let me know what your favorite cartoon character was or your favorite cartoon show in the comments and I will enter you into a giveaway for one of my girl DJ's eyeshadow palettes. I went ahead and picked up a couple more. So I'm gonna give one away to one of you beautiful, wonderful, absolutely amazing subscribers who stuck it out with me this long, <laughs> okay? I'm gonna go ahead and leave it open for about a week from whenever I upload this video. And you know, if you leave me a comment with your favorite cartoon character, I will enter you into the giveaway. I will announce the winner in a week and that'll be it. So yeah, let me go ahead and show you this hot new palette again, okay? <laughs> you know you want to win one of these, okay? So yeah, hopefully you, you made it through. And if you did, then you get to enter, okay? So that's it, you guys. Thanks so much for hanging out with me in this long video and I will see you on my next one. Toodles!